Good afternoon. A store owner found herself fighting off robbers. It's hard to see, but this is a surveillance video of the incident. They beat her with a gun and shot at her. Well, one suspect has been charged. As News 13's Corey King reports from Clovis, the search for the other two continues. Even if I fight, I might die. I thought instantly, this is my last moment and I have to make it count. That's all Savannah Senna could think as three robbers stormed into her smoke shop. Dirty Curry Creations. On September 3rd at 3 a.m., she was doing her daily paperwork. She says the men were yelling, Clovis Police Department, and pointing guns at her. She says when she saw one of them wearing a red hoodie, she knew it wasn't the police. So I jumped up and I threw his gun to the side. Senna started fighting the men and pinning one of them to the ground. That's when the second one attacked. A larger guy comes up with an assault rifle and just starts bashing me. Over and over. She was hit more than 20 times. All the while, the men were demanding money, but there was none. As the men left, they fired shots right at her. Fortunately, she wasn't hit. Left beaten and bloody, Senna grabbed her phone and called the only person she could think of. All I could think was that I wanted my mom. I was just screaming for my mom. I called my mom like 30 times. And um, I ended up reaching my grandmother. Senna had to get 22 staples in her head and three stitches in her hand and was left bruised and scraped. But this attack did more than physical damage. She decided to sell her business and move away, but not before telling her story in effort to protect others. I don't feel safe um, until all, th all three of them are behind bars. And Corey King, CARE News 13. Now, the one suspect arrested is 19 year old Angelo Lopez. Senna helped police track him down by scouring Facebook. It's there that she came across his picture. In his profile, court documents say it showed the gun Senna says was used to beat her. He does remain locked up until trial, but is asking for a furlough so he can be present at the birth of his child later this week.